Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And now to the news of today, the headline. PDP asks River State's residents to vote in council elections, urges Nigeria to hold APC Inspector General responsible for chaos. And now to the news info. The call was made in a statement issued by Debo Oluguanba, the PDP National Publicity Secretary, on Friday, stating that the people's sovereignty and right to participate in the democratic activities should not be compromised because of the lingering political crisis in the state. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has urged River State residents to actively participate in the Saturday's local government election. I do hope that they do go out because most people will be scared. Thugs might have gone around the state and threatening people that, oh, you better don't come outside to come and vote. You better don't do this. You better don't do that. So many things has happened. We've witnessed so many elections where thugs will, will threaten you, political thugs will threaten you that you should not come out to vote. Or when you come out to vote, they will tell you that it is, you better vote for this social party. So that, and they would be there to monitor you. The police are also working for this political thugs and the thugs so they would not say anything they would not protect the right of the citizen so i really hope that the people of river states are, are ready to take back their country and are bold enough and come outside to say yes we are coming out to vote on saturday the call was made in a statement issued by debo Ologwanda the PDP National Publicity Secretary on Friday, stating that the people's sovereignty and right to participate in democratic activities should not be compromised because of the lingering political crisis in the state. Recall that the state government has faced October 5, 2024, for the citizens to elect local government area executives. PDP statement reads, The People's Democratic Party, PDP, charges the people of River State to firmly assess their sovereignty and constitutional rights by coming out in mass to vote in the Saturday, October 5, 2024, local government area election across the state. The PDP insists that the right to civil control of democratic activities in River State as a federating unit belongs to the generality of the people of the state, and such rights, including participation in local government area election, cannot be abridged or appropriated by any person, group or organization under any guise whatsoever. The party maintains that the people of River State are ready for election. The River State Independent Electoral Commission, RSIEC, has also announced its readiness, preparedness and possession of necessary operational materials to conduct the election in line with the pronouncement of the Supreme Court and no court under the Electoral Act 2022 as amended has power to stop elections. For avoidance of doubt, Section 84, Subsection 15 of the Electoral Act 2022 provides that nothing in this section shall empower the court to stop the holding of primaries or general elections under the Act pending the determination of the suit. The PDP, in very strong terms, condemns the attempt by the APC-controlled police to abridge, subvert, and frustrate the smooth conduct of the River State local government area election against the will of the people, the pronouncement of the Supreme Court, the express provision of the Electoral Act 2022 as amended, and the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. The reported invasion of RSIC facilities by police operators allegedly to frustrate the conduct of the election is a direct affront to our democracy and the rule of law, an attempt which was firmly resisted by the people of River State who are resolute to express their will at the poll. I like that River State people, they are very, very bold people, and I know that most of them, if not all of them, will actually come out of vote and hopefully they will be able to defend their votes and not allow some people to hijack their votes and not allow themselves to be bought 
to say okay take this and vote for us i hope that people actually vote for the right people the police and the APC should note that the people of River State are peace-loving and law-abiding but will never allow anybody by whatever means to stifle, abridge, appropriate or subvert their will, especially in choosing who governs them, particularly at the local government level. The official PDP Nigeria calls on Nigerians and international community to hold the official APC NG and the Inspector General of Police responsible should there be any breakdown of law and order in river states. Imagine the situation whereby the people of the, of the state do not have trust in the Inspector General of Police. They, they can't trust the police officers, which is totally wrong. The police officers should be, should be in support of the people, should fight for the cause of the people and not for politicians. Look, see what they are, they, they, they are now trying to say that if anything goes wrong, hold the Inspector General of Police accountable. See what our country has, has gotten to. The, the Inspector General of Police at Police NG should note that he is duty-bound under the Constitution to provide the enabling and secure environment for the smooth conduct of River State local government area election, irrespective of where it stands as an individual, yes, irrespective of who you want to win the election, you still have to do your job as a security personnel, still protect the people, even though your own people is not winning, still do your job properly. Duty calls on him to act professionally in the overall interest of our hard-earned democracy and the stability of our nation, Nigeria. Our party salutes the courage and steadfastness of the people of River State in their determination to defend their rights to participate in the process of electing their leaders. The PDP stands with the government at Sims for Barakir and people of Rivers in their desire to peacefully elect representatives that will democratically run the affairs of the 23 local government areas of the state in line with the provision of the law. I hope that that is really achieved. My listeners, what do you think? Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. See you some other time. Bye.